All right. The next hot soup that's cooking right now, it says, who should be more in love in the relationship for it to work? Because I know in the all of in the in our culture, it's more like make sure you end up with a guy that loves you more than you. But does it make sense? I know that's what our culture say. That's what the wall of wall of will tell you. Make sure you your husband loves you more than you love them. But I think that's all bull because. If you don't love somebody, the little things that they do that you wouldn't be able to tolerate, you wouldn't be able to tolerate if you don't have that niche for them. So, and it's relative. You may think you love them more and you may think they love you more because of how much they can express their love, but uh, there has to be love. I don't if know. the guy loves you as a woman more, it tends to kind of work. But if you as a woman love the guy more, will it work? There should be an individual um, strive to love more than the other. Just make it your individual commitment to love as much as you can, irrespective of how much the person loves you. But before entering a relationship, it is, yeah. it is fundamental that the person loves you before you go into the relationship and you love the person. But when you are in it, keep striving to do your best to love as much as you can. I don't know about the last part you said to strive to love as much as you can, irrespective of what you get back from them. Yeah, yes, Duka, I totally agree with her. I'll let Ule go, but I totally agree with her. I really don't think that there's any measurement. I think the, the guy just have to love you enough and the woman just also have to love the guy enough. But I think what tends to happen as women is when we get into relationships, we try to conform ourselves to what we think the guy wants. And because of that, we kind of lose our identity and like who we really are. The guy is just attracted to you because of your visual attributes. That probably will not last long, right? Because your, like, your physical appearance changes as you, as you get older. Whereas I think as women, we're more like emotionally attached. And I think that's maybe what you were referring to in like the where it says, the wall of says, let your guy love you more. I think all it means is that sometimes as women, you may not actually be attracted to a guy initially because they are like very, very caring. Yeah, they are like there, they fulfill your needs and stuff. Then you probably you tend to fall in love. Whereas guys, it's like more visual. They just look at the package first before they even think of what's inside. Would you guys agree though on with this statement? As a woman, you should never ever go for a guy that you love more than he reciprocates or at least show you. If, if the guy is not interested, they're not interested. I think it's like right. there's nothing that you can do to change that. So that's just disaster waiting for, to happen. You probably will think you could change but the guy. You, but do you, you know that a lot of, there are women that when they want a guy and they see everything they want in that guy and they want it to work, they will do everything in their power to try to make it work. It, but it doesn't work. They may right. get the guy just for the time being, but it's not going to continue. It's going to fall apart because that guy does not have the same emotional attachment and connection. And you, the more you pursue the guy, the more the guy will end up moving away from you. So they may just fall into your trap for the uh, at the beginning, but it will eventually disappear because there's no emotional connection. There may be not chemistry. You, you're just doing everything possible to please the person, but then at the end of the day, it's not going to work. Once you get the feeling that this guy doesn't love you as enough or as much as you love him, I don't think you should proceed into a marriage with that because it's in, during trying times in a marriage, it is those little things that the person loves about you that keeps you going. And it goes both ways. It's the things your husband sees and loves about you before he married you, that keeps him going when there are trials in the marriage. So if he doesn't love you enough, or as much as you think you love him, I don't think you should proceed. And with we've that. seen this before, right? Where the guy maybe is pursuing the woman, but the woman isn't as crazy Gugu -goo Gaga for him, right? But at some point, it changes. Like Ole was saying, it's like a more of an emotional than in, like a physical, right, attraction. Yeah, actually a guy can pursue a woman who initially did not like the guy, but maybe because of the emotional connection, it's not just physical. They end up 
actually falling in love. Whereas it's harder usually when it's the opposite side. So you, you agreed with my soup. So you came to this side of the kitchen. So on we have the, Hilda and no, Dr. J. On just on that one. If the you other, did. It's possible for men to pursue and it will finally work. But if, the, if it's the other way around, if the woman is the one pursuing the guy and the guy is not in love, it, yeah. it never works. It probably but not. it could work the other way. And Dr. J and Hilda are on the same side of the soup. And if you're watching, go ahead and comment below. Let us know what side of the soup are you on today. Is it possible for the man to actually be more in love with the woman and it finally works? Or it's not? Or can the woman be in the same shoes and love the guy more and it works or not? I think not. I think you would, you guys will probably agree with Ole and I. I'm just saying. Not Hilda no. and you. I'll nope. just stay with Hilda and we'll eat our soup from Nigeria. On that note, we want to take the time and obviously thank Hilda right. and Mr. Njai, Taf Africa Global, for his brilliant, brilliant analysis that he gave us today, the conversation we had with him on Building Africa, and the topic was uh, building institutions, and he couldn't have laid it out better. It always seems impossible until it's done. Exactly. Yeah, continue to comment, share the video, and we love you guys so much. Bye, ladies. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye, Hilda. Bye, Hilda. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Cause I'm a people right with range on my people days are strange for my people back to slavery days they put in chains on my people your chain for change together we can make a change we are looking for change not pocket change my people I see my people for my people now I look around I see my people against my people my people 